G'day Aries, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aries, please, to begin with. So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Woo! Pretty full on. <laughs> Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one thinking about Aries right now. Clarify card one, please. All the decks are pre shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Clarify card two, please. And just a heads up for next week's read. It may be early, it may be late, but it will be coming next week. Clarify card three, please. I just don't know when because. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> that pretty much explains it. <laughs> All right, that one fell out. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's going on, but yeah. Three more for the love energy coming towards Aries, please. Thank you. Um, yeah. Things going on this week, and I'm not really sure when I'm going to be able to get them out, but I will be getting them out, so. <clears throat> Maybe put your notification bell on. So you're aware of when that comes out. Clarify card one in row two, please. Yeah. Clarify card two in row two, please. Hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good week, a good day, and a good weekend. Whatever you're doing, <laughs> wherever you are, clarify card three, please. And I hope you're also remembering to spoil yourself because you deserve it. Something nice for yourself, Aries. All right, let's begin. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Ooh. This card come out for another sign too. Oh, excuse me. So somebody thinks you're the one, Aries. Age of Wands. Ooh. So they've done a bit of flirting or they're going to flirt with you. They think you could be the one. They're going to have a bit of passionate communication with you. A bit of flirting. Mm. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. I haven't seen that card for a while. Ooh, and the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> so they're single, stable, grounded, independent, looking good. Got their stuff together. And they're praying and visualising being with you. But they're taking action, so that's good. Yeah, they've been trying to call you. Oh, they see you as this too. They see you as single, stable, grounded, in looking good. <clears throat> Calling in a match. And two people at nine of pentacles can make a ten of pentacles work. So, yeah, that's good. That's the single king and queen of pentacles. The committed ones. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one's got a lot. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. All right. We have the Four of Cups, so making the offer. The Two of Cups of Love. Ooh. The Magician. Having a new beginnings in all four elements. The Seven of Swords. Whoa, hang on. They said put that back. All right, that goes in the next bit. So they want to give this a chance. Making an offer of love. To manifest all new beginnings with you. 
yeah, in, in every element, in passion, in truth and honesty, in stability and love. So Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So I think they've been sneaky, is what I'm hearing, and haven't said anything. You would have no idea that this person's been interested in you. They're being sneaky, keeping it a secret, and waiting for the right time to come in with a passionate beginning, with which is this flirting. <coughs> to take, yeah, been waiting to take action, keeping quiet, being very sneaky. That's what I'm hearing, being very sneaky, staying very quiet and waiting to take action. I think they've been cheating, lying, stealing. Okay, ooh, the tower, but suddenly out of nowhere. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and Temperance. So... Out of nowhere, I'm doing all this hard work, hoping it's just not disappointing. Yeah, they're working really hard, want to work really hard on this connection here. Out of nowhere, they're just going to come in and start making that effort here. They are worried that, yeah, it's going to end disappointing, disappointedly. <laughs> Well, it might end in sorrow if you're not interested. So that's why they've been patiently waiting. Wanting this to gradually... Oh, okay. So they'd like to come in out of nowhere and start working on this. But they know that it could lead to disappointment. So they're wanting this to blend together naturally. Being patient, trying to stay balanced. Yeah, where it might scare you off if they come in too, too heavy and too fast. Ooh, so they really do want to give this relationship a chance. So they're weighing up the pros and cons. Mmm. Balance, spirituality and practicality. This card's been coming up a bit too. Full moon, full moon in Pisces. And the Knight of Wands. So they're trying to be balanced in the actions that they take. Because this is action and action. It's also action and passion. It can be the player card, but I'm not getting that. They're trying to be balanced in their spirit. And practicality when it comes to the actions that they take towards you. They don't want to scare you off, but they want you to let you know, want to let you know they're interested. So it's keeping that balance of not doing too much and not doing too less when it comes to the actions they take towards you. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Yeah, and they know there's no guarantees here. The Wheel of Fortune, the wheel will turn how it turns, and Five of Pentacles. The wheel could turn in their favour, or they could get completely left out in the cold here. So they know nothing is set in stone yet. They know there's no guarantees here. It could turn out wonderful and all turn in their favour. Or it could, yeah, you could just go, not, not interested, mate. Mm. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. So, yes. Trying to breathe. <sighs> Breathing out does relax the body. Breathing in can be quite dense, and breathing out is relaxing. So, yes. Ooh, the Devil card. The Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. 
So, yeah, we're trying not to get too stressed about this. This could all just be an infatuation, is what I'm hearing here. They're very tempted by you, this, you know, this could end up being just a lustful thing with the, you know, the flirting. Maybe you're not interested in anything with them. Could all turn bad. But it could be the beginning of a beautiful love with the Ace of Cups that turns into the best love that there is. Queen of Cups. Best love humanly possible. So, they're hoping that it's the Ace of Cups and Queen of Cups. But it may not turn out to be what they think it is. It may all just go bad. So they're trying to relax. They know nothing's set in stone. Just trying to stay calm, whichever way it turns out. Ooh. Okay. So it's a very balanced approach. I like it. Okay. I'm scared I'll get hurt, so I run. Um, that could be why they haven't approached yet. But I think they're going to overcome this fear. Because they know. Yeah. Trying to stay balanced in their actions. But also trying to stay grounded in the fact that this might not be what they think want it to be <coughs> all right what would this love energy like to say to aries please okay that one which came out first we have i can't wait to see you again Woo. Yeah. Oh yes, they look forward to seeing you. Oh, they get all excited when they know they're going to see you, and I want you next to me. Oh yes, they do. Oh yes. Ooh, very nice. Well, I hope you're interested. Cause yeah, I think their um their approach is very yes realistic. They're aware that, you know, and they're going to have balance, give and take. They, you know, don't give too much. Don't scare areas away and give enough that they know that you're interested. And, yes, you could just leave them out in the cold or this could be a beautiful love. So, but they know they've got to take that chance. They're willing to give the relationship a chance. Because it could end up being beautiful. Well, there you go, Aries. Yeah, but I like their approach, so I'm not seeing anything malicious or bad. Yeah. I think it could work out good if you're interested. All right, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. And thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, thank you. All right. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.